guys I'm back in this video and um I don't know if I ever said in the last tutors video that I made that I was gonna make another one for you guys but I always plan to do it because um you guys never got to see me in my uniform because I'm pretty sure when you work there it's like a thing of like oh you can't um put on the uniform and like take a picture or be seen in your uniform even though I put pictures of myself on my Instagram uh, of me in the uniform when I did work there but so I haven't worked there for over a year now or no sorry almost a year now is what I was going to say and um here's the story because I never told you guys about it so um, first off, I think I only worked there for like a month or so, and I pretty much got fired because, <laughs> so I, over there you have like secret shops and stuff, and so I had, hadn't even worked there for that long, and I got a secret shopper, and I got like, this is embarrassing, but I got like a 44% or something, 40 or 44, I don't know, something like that on the secret shop. So the bad part, that wasn't even the bad part. The bad part is that um, there had been girls getting really bad scores there for a long time. So my score was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back for them because um, I mean, I don't know, it was my first surfing job, and the girls that previously had gotten bad scores, they didn't really care about their bad scores because they had worked there for a long time, so they kind of, like, made an exception for them, but for me, it was like, oh, well, you haven't worked here that long, so bye. So the manager didn't even actually tell me I was fired when... I was fired. I came in one day and they were like, oh, you got a bad score. Um, just go home. And, um, like, we'll let you know, pretty much we'll let you know if, like, you were letting you go or not. So I hadn't heard, heard back. It had been two or three days, so I called him. And I was like, so, like, am I fired or like what's going on and he's like yeah we're letting you go so um I'm not gonna lie like I made really good money there in that in that month that I worked there I'm pretty sure I made like a thousand dollars um yeah in just a month uh with tips and my um checks my paychecks sorry so, it's good money. If you're a girl and you want to work at Hooters, go do it. Like, if you're not, if you are not ashamed of your body and you want to make some quick, fast money, it's not a long-term term job. At least not for me, it wasn't, obviously. I, and anyways, I wasn't trying to work there for, like, my whole life. Like, I was trying to work there and go to school at the same time. So... It obviously didn't work out, but I did want to let you guys know some of the, like, things that I didn't like about it. Um, I mean, the only thing that I really, truly liked was the money. So there are a lot of, a lot of downfalls to this job. And I'm not gonna be like all the other girls on YouTube that make videos about this job. I'm gonna tell you straight up, okay? So, I had all male managers, and they were, not with me, but with all the other girls, like, they were flirty, touchy-feely, like, I'm gonna do this to you, and so, they had favorites. So, whoever let them do whatever they wanted, that was their favorite, you know? So, there were some of the managers, they would come up behind some of the girls, and, like, like right behind them like filling up on them and stuff and it was awkward like I would just be like standing there like 
oh, can, can I get through? Like, I need to give my table some drinks. You know, <laughs> like, they would be, how you call it, the POS stations back there, like, yeah, and they would talk about weird stuff, and it just wasn't something that you should be doing, like, stuff like that with your manager, or conversations you should be having with your manager. So the managers are creeps. Um, I'm not saying that's going to be every Hooters that you work with, work at. That's not every Hooters, okay? Some Hooters probably have female managers, and hopefully the female managers are better than the male managers because I don't like when you go to a place and there's favorites. Like, right off the bat, you can tell, like, okay, this isn't cool. So that was something. Also, they made me cover my tattoo. So um, now I have a new tattoo. Bam! <laughs> uh, go watch my video. I have a video about it. Went to tattoo convention. Anyways, back on track. Uh, they made me cover this tattoo all the time. So how they make you cover it is they make you put makeup on it. And you're wearing a white shirt every day. So, um, I was the best at covering my, my, uh, tattoo. I mean, it's probably because I have this Kat Von D locket foundation and it, it's 24 hour wear, like it's, I I don't know, I don't think it's made for tattoos, for tattoo covering, but it really like helped, it saved my life every day. But it's gross to have to cover your tattoos because you're wearing a white shirt and I'm brown. So my brown makeup was smearing on my white shirt every single day. Okay, another con. This is what we're gonna call them, cons, because I don't, I couldn't find the word I said downfall. Another huge con is that my shirt size is not an extra small. And that's all they were giving me. The managers were like, here's an extra small. I was like, I'm a small. Like, at the least, I'm a small. Okay, with these, I'm a small. Sorry, this is an extra small. And my boobs are suffocating. My whole body is suffocating. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I could barely breathe right now. That's why I'm glad I don't have this job anymore. Anyways, I was like, please give me a small. Let me, can I just try it on? So I come out with a small. He's like, uh-uh, here's the extra small. Go back in and put this one on because that one doesn't fit you. I was like, I don't fit an extra small. He's like, put the extra small on. So they kind of force you to um, just wear a smaller size to make your boobs look bigger. And I wanted to tell him, like, I don't need to make my boobs look bigger. Like, first of all, you guys make everyone wear a push-up bra anyways. Second of all, my boobs don't need a push-up bra or a tight shirt to squeeze them into. I feel like I'm the Incredible Hulk when I put this on. So I'm glad I don't have to wear it anymore. Thank the Lord. Anyways, it's just, it's ridiculous to work there. So I'm going to show you guys the uniform because I always said that I would. Well, I'm pretty sure I said that I would. And let's do this, okay? So first off are these ugly sketchers. Ugly. They're white. Well, kind of. Mine, mine are dirty, okay? Because I stopped caring, obviously. Yeah. Um, you have to, like, clean your shoes every, before every shift. If you don't, they yell at you. So I had to wear those ugly Skechers. Like, no one wears Skechers anymore. I don't want to wear those. Um, you didn't, they don't do the scrunchy sock thing anymore. That was like the 90s, 80s, early 2000s, whatever. But yeah, so gotta wear some ugly shoes. Now I'm gonna show you guys the shirt and the shorts. Move this out of the way. Okay, so mind you, I did not have a booty when I worked there. A little 
while ago. All I had, well, I didn't have anything, okay, except for these. Um, so yeah, but I look different in them now. Now they actually look kind of cute on me. Now I'm like, oh, maybe I should keep these when I'm on a hot day in the house because Ugh, I hate the color orange. That was another thing that I hated about working there. But, um, yeah, this outfit is ugly. And when I had to wear it, when I had to wear it when I was skinnier, I looked like Spongebob. Like, no joke. My boyfriend would be like, babe, um... I hope your butt cheeks don't show at work. I was like, babe, can you see my butt cheeks in these right now? He's all, no. I'm like, okay, good, yeah, because now you know that they won't ride up because I'm SpongeBob in real life. Like, <laughs> not anymore. Um, because thank God, like, something happened to me. My body is becoming... I'm turning into a woman. I'm actually blossoming after I had a child. Finally, I've been waiting. But yeah, no. So, I'm going to tell you some more things I didn't like. The The biggest thing that I didn't like, though, is the covering of tattoos. Is be, and that's because my tattoos, like, they're going to define me, you know? And also, tattoos are beautiful. Like... There, there are on your body. Like, it's kind of like wearing makeup, except they're permanent, of course. But, you know, like, they're just, it's, it's a part of me. It's on me. Just let me do me. No, but, um, I didn't like that they didn't let you wear jewelry. So, <laughs> their rules were so stupid. At the time, I had my ears... My ears were gauged, and they still kind of are, but I'm trying to close them. I'm constantly going back and forth. But they were stretched at that point, and I, I was at a double zero, which is, like, it's pretty. It's a good size. It's like that, pretty much. And um, they wouldn't let me wear my gauges. Like, I could wear, they, they said that you, you could wear plugs, as long as they were like clear or whatever then they changed their mind and they were like no 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 one can wear them so after that they were like you can only wear studs and then after that they were like your studs can't be more than um like bigger than a pencil eraser so it just kept changing it just kept going back and forth no bueno you couldn't wear necklaces. I wear necklace every day. <laughs> well, pretty much I try to wear a necklace every day. Um, you couldn't wear bracelets. You couldn't get your nails done. They have to be like this all the time. My nails are like this anyways now though, because I'm going to school. But yeah, I just didn't like the rules that they had. They, they were just pointless and stupid. Like they really need to modernize their um restaurant because like girls are different but they want you to be that girl next door the che they want you to look like the typical cheerleader type and like that's totally not me so I'm glad I got out of that you know anyways but I also worked at Twin Peaks and I'm going to tell you guys about um what it was like working at Twin Peaks too because I actually enjoyed that job way, way, way more than Hooters. So, if you want to see it, let me know in the comments. I'm probably going to make it anyways because I need new content. And I loved my Twin Peaks uniform, even though sometimes it was... No, just kidding. No, but um, I liked it more than this thing. I mean, I'm, I look stupid. Like, seriously. I look like I got implants, and I don't need to be looking like this. Like, it's pointless. <laughs> My boots don't need, they don't need anything, you know? Like, Hooters kind of makes girls feel like they're 
not good enough sometimes because I mean they do hire girls that have less than me like way less so it's like how do you think those girls feel when they're being told oh you want this extra 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 small shirt to push them up so I don't know Twin Peaks wasn't that much different but like they have the same standards but it was just a better overall working environment. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and please subscribe. 